Hi everybody, my name is Kim and welcome back to Bookmarks and Breadsticks. Hi and welcome back to Bookmarks and Breadsticks. If you're new to my channel, hello! My name is Kim and I'm here to bring you bookish content all about food. Today I'm here to bring you my March TBR. Now in my TBRs in the year of 2021 I will be unwrapping books from my TBR list. If you haven't seen the video already I'll link it up in the cards but essentially I have about a hundred unread books and to help curb additional book buying and also to get those fiscal books off my shelf I actually wrapped them so they looked like presents because I think one of the things I love about books growing up books were always gifts from my mom and my dad and my siblings so I get a lot of joy out of the experience of books so I'm hoping that by wrapping them I'll still feel that joy and if not then it's time to unhaul it and donate it which I've already done that with one book this year. I have two books to unwrap today but I actually have four other books on my TBR so let's go ahead and get through the ones that are carryovers and other obligations. I am still reading the full graphic novel of Persepolis by Marjane Satrapi. I really love this book. It's a reread for me. So I'm taking my time with this graphic novel. It is a graphic novel all about Marjane's life, broken up into two major parts. One, her early childhood when she lived in Iran, and then the second, what her life was like after the political revolution and when she left the country. This is one of my favorite books and I gave a copy to my dad. If you're interested in Persepolis, the first volume of this graphic novel is available in my Persian Read It and Eat subscription box. So if you don't know about Read It and Eat, it is a quarterly book, bookish foodie subscription box where I pair a food item from a small local BIPOC or female owned business with a book and other fun goodies inside. To honor my father who passed away last month from pancreatic cancer, I wanted to put together a Persian themed box. Also, why do I want it to put it together in February, March? Because at the end of March, we celebrate something in the Persian community called Naruz, which is the Persian New Year. It's about celebrating spring and life. So in that Persian box, you get a lot of fun goodies. I know that this is supposed to be my unwrapping in TBR. So I'll pause there. I have plenty of unboxing videos from my bookish friends who I love very much. But anyway, still trying to finish Persepolis as a reread. This is casual, makes me feel good, but not a lot of pressure to finish it in a specific month. The second book I have is a work of fiction. It is The Monk of Mocha. I don't wanna go into too much detail about it, but I am listening to it as an audiobook. So I'll read the back cover. The Monk of Mocha is a true story of a young Yemeni American man raised in San Francisco who dreams of resurrecting the ancient art of Yemeni coffee, but finds himself trapped in saunas, in saunas by civil war. So this is actually nonfiction. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I started it as an audiobook, um, as a mood read, and I actually really want to finish it so I can talk about it. Third book is a ARC um, that I received from Ruckerton Books in the University of Chicago Press. This book just published in the spring, and it's part of their Foods and Nations series, Save Our Fair, The History of Food in France by Marianne Tevin. So I want to get this done because obviously, obviously I'm so gracious when publishers will send me any kind of bookish foodie book. I really want to get this one done. If you haven't already, I do have reviews for the Edible series, which is done by Rekaton and University of Chicago Press that I'll link. Fourth book on my list this month is a buddy read that I'm reading with Rosie. We are reading American Cuisine and How It Got This Way by Paul Friedman. This came out in 2019, but towards the end of the year, so still pretty new and pretty contemporary. And he's the author of 10 Restaurants That Changed the World, which I just picked up as a Christmas gift to myself. I'll explain that in a different video. So this book coming in is about 380 pages. So I am excited to buddy read this. It is a large book. So Rosie and I are going to have to keep on top of it to get through this by the end of the month. But thankfully, I'm not reading this in February because missing those couple extra days in the month, I'm really feeling it. Okay, let's get into unwrapping. Because I already have four scheduled books on my list that I just walked you guys through, I'm only unwrapping two more. I want to have the opportunity to mood read and honestly, Somehow I net netted out to six books again in a month, which is not impossible, but it's still pretty hard for me. Oh, this is a book I had gotten for Christmas. This is Ice Cream by Helen Dunn, 
and this is a group of short stories all around ice cream. So yay guys, I got some fiction. I don't know, focus please, focus, there we go. So this is small, it's about 217 pages, but just as a reference point, like it's pretty small, page size. book, We the Eaters, If We Change Dinner We Can Change the World by Ellen Gustafson. She's the co-founder of Feed and Food Tank. If you guys recognize the name Food Tank, I actually wrapped an internship with them where I focused on food politics and food sustainability news articles. This book, so I'm excited. This is from the founder and I'm excited to see what I learned and what led to the creation. This is from 2014. It's not that old. Um, I guess, whoa, it's 2021. So it's seven years old. I guess it's not as young as it used to be. Um, 226, no, less than that, sorry. 210, 215 pages, pretty excited. Also always excited to rep Food Tank. I might not be interning with them anymore, but I really love what they stand behind and I really hope you guys check out Food Tank. So there we have it. Six books to try and get through in the month of March. I do have to remind myself books are supposed to be for joy. So I can it's okay, Kim and the bookish universe, if you want to DNF a book. It's also okay if a book carries over to the next month. But that's my goal for now. We'll see what happens. If you haven't already, I would love for you to hit like and subscribe below and be part of my foodie and bookish family. I post content Tuesdays and Saturdays, and you can also follow me on Instagram to get more behind the scenes looks of the Read It and Eat box, and also what I'm reading and looking forward to. I hope you are well, wear a mask, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Bye.